Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John Matthew. So we continue with complex analysis, but we are going to enter the next part that is expansion of functions. And there will be two videos in this part. In the first one, that is in this video, we will learn the basic problems in Maclaurin and Taylor. And in the next video, we will learn extra, extra, extra important problems in Taylor and Lawrence. And after that, we will move on to the last topic, that is complex integration. However, in some universities, they will ask you to learn something called conformal mapping and the transformations such as magnification, rotation, etc., etc. And those things we will learn at the last. Okay, so let's go directly to the Maclaurin series. So look at this, Maclaurin series is also called expansion at z equal to 0 or expansion in positive powers of z. I am sure that you have already learned Maclaurin series for real valued function. And this is somewhat similar other than x means a real number and z means it is a complex number. They are asking us, expand the function in powers of z. So if they ever ask you expand at z equal to 0 or expand in positive powers of z, then we have to understand it is Maclaurin. And the method is very very simple. You divide your paper into two parts. And on the left you can write the given function and on the right you can write the value when z becomes 0. That means you plug in the input or the input variable as 0 in all problems in Maclaurin. And of course this is a very easy problem so we get the answer 1. Now differentiate on the left. Plug in the value 0 inside the derivative. Again we get the same stuff 1. Again differentiate, again we get the same stuff because the derivative of e power z is e power z. So f double dash of 0 is equal to e power 0, it's equal to 1. If you want, you can keep on doing this forever. But normally, when we do a presentation, we will write 3 non-zero terms. What will we write? 3 non-zero terms. The more, the better, but normally we write three non-zero terms. And by the way, you have to memorize this formula. Now, the left side is the given function. And the right side you already found, it is 1. Plus z by 1 factorial multiplied by 1. Plus z squared by 2 factorial multiplied by 1 plus z cube by 3 factorial multiplied by 1. I didn't do that but I already know the pattern. So we get e to the power z equal to 1 plus z by 1 factorial plus z square by 2 factorial plus etc etc. So look at this. This is the Maclaurin expansion. Or what we did is we are writing a function as an infinite series. So this is called expansion in powers of z. I'll do one more question for you. Expand the function f of z equal to sin z in powers of z or as a Maclaurin series. So what will you do? Write the given function and plug in z equal to 0 so that we get oh no this values of no use at all. We need three non-zero values. I'm sorry we need at least three non-zero values. Now look at this. The derivative is cos z. The value will be cos 0 that is equal to 1. Double derivative minus sin z. Double derivative that will be 0. Again this value has no use. You got only one non-zero answer. So I'm going to differentiate again. The third derivative so the third derivative at 0 that is minus 1. Now the fourth derivative 
the fourth derivative at zero is equal to zero. Now the fifth derivative one. Okay, you can keep on doing this forever because it's an infinite expansion. Now I'll copy the formula. You have to memorize it by the way. And the left side is the given function. What is the given function? Sin z. So sin z equal to what is f of 0? Oh no, that value is of no use. Plus z by 1 factorial multiplied by 1 plus 0 minus z cube by 3 factorial into it was minus 1. And it goes on like that, so you can write the expansion. Now let's quickly move on to Taylor expansion. So look at this. In Taylor expansion, we expand about a given point, z equal to a. Or we may expand in powers of z minus a. So both means the same. Anyway, we have a formula. So I'm going to do one simple question for you. Expand the function f of z equal to cos z in powers of z minus pi by 4. So by looking at this question, I can understand, I can understand, I have to plug in the value pi by 4. Look at this, in Maclaurin by default, in Maclaurin by default, you will always plug in z equal to 0. So there is no confusion. But in Taylor, you have to read the question properly. Maybe they will give it like very clearly. Expand at z equal to 1. Expand at z equal to pi by 3. But sometimes they will give you, expand the function in powers of z minus pi by 4. So all you have to do is equate it to 0 and find that value. And that will be the value of A in the formula. Now same method, write the function plug in whatever be the value they gave in the question. Cos pi by 4, 1 by root 2. Now, differentiate. Plug in the value into the derivative. Again, differentiate. Again, differentiate if you want. Why I said if you want this because you already got three non-zero answers. Now, the formula is different. Can you see in your formula it becomes something like I'll write it here cos z equal to f of a that means f of pi by 4 we have the value here 1 by root 2 plus z minus pi by 4 by 1 factorial multiplied by minus 1 by root 2 plus z minus pi by 4 the whole square by 2 factorial multiplied by minus 1 by root 2 and it goes on like this and simplify. Anyway, since you learned all this stuff in real valued functions, in your engineering exams, more than this, the next part is very very important. Suppose, suppose they give you one question, find the Taylor expansion of z square plus 1 divided by z minus 1 into z minus 2 into z plus 10 at z equal to 3. Now look at this. This question with the method that I taught you today will be very 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 difficult to solve. Come on, you have to differentiate this again and again and again right so in the next video we are going to learn something called the method of manipulation so what we do is we will manipulate the input values or we will manipulate the input variables in such a way that we will be able to apply one of these expansions so before you start with the next video, I want you to be very, very, very good with this blue, green and yellow formula. So I'll be back very soon with the next video in which we will discuss Lawrence and very important problems in Taylor. So till then my friends, 